Oh, the feeling is actually delicious. <laughs> it's slightly cr creepy. I can feel the muscle of the foot moving. It's astounding. You can feel the movement of the muscle inside what is called the snail's foot. His head should eventually emerge from there. Hopefully. But it might not. He might just decide to stay inside while he's sitting on me. But I've got to tell you the feeling of it's a little bit like, I suppose, a, a, a massage device, putting it on your hand like this, and the foot is kind of pulsing. You can feel the muscles moving inside it, all over my hand. It's wonderful. But I don't know that he's going to come out. Shall we sing the Irish song to him? Do you remember the Irish song, Rian? You don't know the Irish song. I'll sing it for you. I taught it to Jandre once. It goes... Shelleke, shelleke, bulky, stick out all your horns. All the ladies are coming to see ya. Apparently that's what the Irish kids used to say to the snails to make them stick their horns out. Anyway, while we wait for him to stick his horns out, there's a little caterpillar living on his shell. Even... This snail is a little ecosystem unto itself. There's also a little bit of rain starting to fall now, so we might have to go back to the tent, but I hope not. James, you're wondering about a po population of invasive snails. Well, I mean, they're exotic. I'm not so sure that they're invasive. I think it's called the banded snail. And the banded snail is a much smaller snail, about that big, with a little band on it, everybody, and they're not native to this area. And James, you want to know if they've had any effect, a positive or negative, on the lion, giant land snail. Shelleke, shelleke, bulky, stick out all your horns. All the ladies are coming to see ya. Isn't that cool? James, I don't think anyone's done any research on whether or not the interactions between the giant land snail and the exotic banded snail have been positive or negative. I'm afraid so I can't really tell you. out the bottom ones which I think are much more sort of uh, probably less than light sensitive they're probably much more sensitive to the air and the pheromones and smells around the place now what I would be very interested to feel is the feeling of the radula the radula of course is the mouth parts of a snail and it's like a sort of chainsaw, a conveyor belt or chainsaw, a toothed conveyor that sort of wraps around, or moves around in the mouth and helps it to pick up whatever it eats. And normally that also is dead and dying plant material. And B. Wilson, you want to know if the snail's foot feels slimy or if it feels cold. It, it feels both, actually. It does feel a bit slimy. Not very cold. It's now moving ever so slowly towards the end of my hand. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm 
feeling a little bit bad. I think we're going to put it down shortly. Shamsan, you say, am I not afraid the snail will poop or slime on me? Not really. Um, I can feel the radula. I can feel it trying to just sort of taste, obviously, what's on my skin. It'll probably burrow in just now. No, it can't do that. But I can feel the little teeth moving on the top of my skin. It's astounding. It's ticklish. It's amazing. It's like a sort of gentle scratching on the surface of the hand. And so what the snail's doing is just investigating if there's anything to eat here. Hopefully it will decide there isn't. It's just taking little bites. It's like taking your nail and gently scratching it across the surface of your skin. It's a very pleasant feeling actually. What a wonderful shellaki bulki this one is.